In 1994, Klaus Schmidt of the German Archaeological Institute began excavations at a Neolithic site located within modern-day southern Turkey. Noted for its immense size and its undeniably incredible antiquity, Gobekli Tepe is an ancient structure made up of at least 200 T-shaped stone pillars, some of which measuring an impressive 6 meters in height and weighing a respectable 22 tons in weight. However, although it has been admitted as one of the oldest sites on Earth, undeniably contradicting modern-day paradigms in regards to the claimed dates of modern ancestral migration routes, the pillars are also covered with mysterious symbology, some of which has since been identified in an ancient group who not only share these same symbols within their culture, even to this day, but have since been hypothesized by a number of individual researchers as the possible culprits for the construction of the site itself, dating back to what we feel is a now lost antiquity. Gobekli Tepe has been academically dated as being at least 12,000 years old, yet any logical explanation as to who or indeed how the site was constructed remains conveniently elusive. Yet regardless of the unanswered questions that many people are still left with, even after academia's explanation, intrigue has seemingly increased since its exception into known site of Earth's antiquities. Modern studies have discovered compelling links between the symbolism of the site and that of the symbolism still used within Aboriginal groups of Australia. Famous for their ancient ancestry and their claims of a lost time before history books began, which they now call dream time, it seems that further to these curious beliefs, they also share an ancient language of symbols with the site, whose meanings has unfortunately been lost to the chasm of time. Yet regardless of their lost meaning, the similarities between this mysterious language and that of the symbology carved upon what is claimed as the oldest site on earth is undeniable. This realization has enabled a number of individual researchers to conclude that there was once a now lost civilization who they now believe and claim was once made up of aboriginals, who they also claim seemingly survived upon the continent of Australia, but were mysteriously wiped out upon the many other continents of the earth. Furthermore, it seems that there are a number of areas upon the site that mainstream sources would prefer stay covered up. The Turkish government recently visited the site and committed an act of criminal vandalism, filling a number of intriguing voids at the site with cement. The question is, what were they so desperate to conceal? Could there possibly be compounding evidence at the site, supporting the new and current hypothesis of the site once having aboriginal origins? It's undoubtedly a site which deserves more protection, one which we find highly compelling. Thanks for watching guys and until next time, take care.